Hey coach, so glad you found the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you put banners and national rankings and all those things in your gym. Uh, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's a community of like-minded coaches. We just got off an hour and a half call. Come over and join us and let's head off to the video. Like you said, I'm a golf professional. Uh, I played golf all the time for about eight years. Just a little bit about me. Um, and I'm going to give some shout out to uh, Coach Carmen. Um, that book is fantastic. Uh, we were talking about it a little bit briefly beforehand, so I highly recommend reading that. Um, so, um, over the last five years, I've been start uh, working in the, the golf business. So I've been teaching lessons and running golf courses for the past five years. And um, I'm going to talk today about the law.
So they did it uh, a time period later. And in reality, at that point, after the after the you can't just do walk at that point. What they found was that the people who did walk regressed significantly in, in their response times, whereas the people who did the random practice barely regressed at all and retained the information significantly better. Uh, the studies I referred to in baseball and basketball, so the, the same situations occur. And so they give the conclusion that random practice is bad for whatever reason. No one says, why? Why is it bad? Target, but they're really trying to help the kid here. And 
some point they go farther and further along, and they are not only randomized, but the pitcher's actually trying to throw a spot that they can't hit. It's beyond random. And so learning that block pattern early, being able to just repetitively do the motion, uh, is huge for somebody who's beginning to learn a skill. Uh, it might be a beginning player on your basketball team. I'm sure there is a wide variety of uh, people in here as far as the, the skill I was going to do. Some different situations. So, uh, beginning players are going to want a little bit more block practice. You're going to want to do a little bit more of this technique, producing the brain and the skill, but you do need to, to move that to analyze it. The sooner the better, but they have to have acquired the skill, otherwise, it's too difficult for them to actually do uh, that uh, So, it's one of the best times for you to use block practice. Uh, you want to use random legs as much as possible, uh, advanced players, uh, simple tasks. Certainly there are some things, I mean, I know I kind of wrote the layout lines a little bit earlier, but let's face it, if you want your your player to think about wide open man, it should be all about right? I mean, the last thing you want is them like learning how to do it while they're in the game. You want that to be something that close their eyes to do. That's what you're looking for when it comes to a lot of practice. This is something that is it's just done. I mean, I have it every time. Uh, however, as soon as the defender is involved, it's no longer the same motion every single time. It's no longer right. Hey coach, hope you're liking the video. If you are, hit like down below. That helps us a lot for people to find us. That's the first thing. Second thing is make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell up above and you'll get a notification every day when we put a new video up. And then go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Thank you. 
the word gets in the back of your head, and you will not be. Um, and every time you pull it back up, it's strengthening the uh, synapse in our brain. It's called making it more durable synapse between what you've learned how to do and an actual pulling out. And the same thing happens with our motor skills. Uh, and I'm sure you guys by now we're getting significantly farther and farther apart. Most of you are kind of like everybody lives in saying we're not here. <laughs> so that's one of the best ways where you can take it. We can start with a lot of practice, and it can be a lot of fun. Start to uh, move it toward the randomized practice as we go, just by spacing it out further and further apart. So um, I know a couple of people went over earlier. I may be a little short on that. Um, I'm going to talk about a couple of things that I personally, some drills that you might do, um, some things that you could do as far as randomizing.
was doing very quickly though at that in his practices. They run through that first play over and over and over and over. And then everyone's sort of at some point you start making some fun. He might call an hour and we had it in the end. It's a great opportunity for you to take an offense or a defense from the block right now. Um, I do want to point out this is something that I think Shay and Warren said they revisited this uh, about four years later and they had an involvement to the randomized group where, okay, it's going to be random, we're going to tell what's coming next, just what's coming next. And what they found was um, these guys would know what's coming next, they disengaged from what they were doing. And they thought about what was coming ahead of time, but by the time we got there, they were disengaged from that, so we literally was making them worse. And, and so what I see is the basketball. so glad you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed it a lot actually if you did subscribe and like and then go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better